Hi everyone, um, I got asked to make a help video to do with the investigation from this week. So I'm afraid I don't have any of my equipment uh, or a printer, so you just have to watch me draw really badly on my tablet. Okay, so for the first bit it says how many triangles can you, dra can you draw uh, where one of the corners is on the middle point and the other two vertices are any two other points on the edge. So, um, let me get a pen. Okay. I'm going to go for, let's have the center point, which is here, and I'm just going to choose two points. Let's choose that one and that one, and then join them up to make a triangle. Okay. Something that you're going to want to do for the next section is to work out the interior angles of these triangles. So I'll show you how to do that now. The key is to notice that the nine points are all equally spaced around the circle. Right? So if I was going to draw, um, I'll just do this. So to draw a line from the middle to all of the points, I would have nine of them, which means I can work out the angle that's here at the center, because it's nine angles all equally spaced out. So, <coughs> excuse me, if I do 360 divided by nine, that's gonna be 40 degrees. So that's 40 degrees, that's 40 degrees. Okay, it's all 40. Which means, of course, this triangle here that I've drawn, that center angle is obviously 80 degrees. So let's clean this up. And I can, whoops, and I can write down this angle here would have been 80 degrees. Now I know this is an isosceles triangle because both of those lines are radiuses. So if that's 80, those two are uh, the base angles that are equal. That would therefore be 50 and 50 degrees. Right. So we're going to do this again. Let me just get rid of that. So let's do this again. I'm going to choose a different size triangle this time. So let's choose the middle point, obviously, and let's pick uh, let's pick these two points here. So now you can see this triangle has got three of these slices. So we said each one was 40 degrees. So that top angle is therefore going to be 120. So that's 120, and once I've worked out that's 120, I can know that's 30, and that's 30 because of my isosceles triangle. Okay, this is my hint for uh, part one.